Hello my dear friends and my dearest family members welcome back to our max class so we are seeing on the heading tables and multiplications okay shall we go to the uh, next concept in my yesterday class we have seen about the basic rules of multiplication and how the multiplication helps the addition to make the calculations very easy okay so always i have a we all have a question why the addition is not enough so i am saying for every classes why the addition is not enough for the calculations okay so the multiplication help us to make the calculation so simple okay on that good note today we are going to see about the uh, skip skipping the counting okay so we already seen about the skip counting by 5 today we are going to see about skip count by 2 okay so listen here i think that you can all able to see this here in a one row they have tied the set of socks so one set means there are a two socks not a two one number one number means only one socks that, that is a set set means two number okay so there are a one two three four five five set of sort or five pairs of socks are there so if you want this is the skip count by two means two four six eight ten okay see here this is a rope i have instead of socks i'm just putting as a uh, stick okay so i'm just uh, putting a pair of sticks pair means two okay Okay, see here how many pairs are there? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. There are uh, 5 pairs of socks. So, this is skip count by 2 means skip count by 2. It means we want to skip the counting. How will always how will you children count the numbers? 1, 2, 3, 4 five so you will go on from starting from one up to 100 or up to 50 you will go on counting but where what i am saying is skip count by two means we want to uh, take it out the in between number like one two three four five six 7, 8, 9, 10. up to 10 I have taken the number. So skip count by 10 means we want to skip it. For example, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Okay, we have to start with the 2. Skip count by 2 means we have to start with the 2. And we want to skip it the 2 numbers. This is a 1 and this is a second number. 1, second number. 1, second number one second number so this is what skip count by two so what is the need to study skip count by two means this is the two tables so skip count by two is what is that actually they are uh, introducing the second table on the concept of skip count by two so what the idea behind the multiplications the idea which lies uh, behind the multiplication is addition isn't it so this is what addition we are just counting the numbers like 1 2 3 4 but what we have uh, 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 adding uh, uh, um, how we are uh, uh, the addition is going behind the process we just adding the uh, in between numbers and we are taking only the uh, second numbers second number alone 1 2 one sorry one second number 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 okay so what they are coming to tell means the, the multiplication the behind the process of multiplication is addition but what they are telling means if the addition or it's a easy but when it comes as a very large number the addition will not help you not help you means it will not work out i'm not saying it will not work out it work out but it take a time so to avoid that confusions and taking a time we are going we need to study the multiplications but the behind the uh, every multiplication step there is a behind there is an accounting process and the addition is there 
okay so you you should not think how the multiplication actually works that the multiplication actually works like this okay so this is what the second table okay next we, i'm going to uh, tell you about the skip count by five so skip count by five means is nothing but the five table Okay, skip count. Sorry, six. Skip count by five. So I'm just taking the numbers. So they have given the example. They have taken a one hand. So one hand. How many fingers are there? One, two, three, four, five. So five fingers are there. So how many set of fingers are they having in the picture? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six, six are uh, 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 hands are here. Okay. So I'm just drawing only. Not I'm drawing the hands. I'm just drawing the one, two, three, six. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one having how many numbers? A one having means five. So every number having a five. Just start thinking that is this is a hands. So one is the first hand. One how many fingers are there? Five fingers are there. Two is the second finger. How many fingers are there? Five fingers are there. Three is the third finger. So just assume like this. Okay. So we have they are started from zero. Okay. So I'm just skipping zero, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Okay, so just keep counting by thirty. Okay, up to thirty. So what is this? How the, skipping the counting means is nothing but I'm just writing the number series like this: four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23 24 25 okay so i'm just taking the 25 okay see here how to skip count skip count by five means we want to skip it the first five numbers 1 2 3 4 and the fifth number is first number 1 2 3 4 and the fifth number is second number 1 2 3 4 and the fifth number is third number 1 2 3 4 and the fifth number 1, 2, 3, 4 and the 5th number. 5, 10, 15, 20 and 25. So this is what skip counting by 5. Just we are, we are skipping by 5 by 5 by 5. Okay. So we are just skipping the in between number. What is the skipping means? We are just avoiding the in between numbers. We are taking the alone the 5th number alone. Okay. So 5th number means what is that? 1, 2, 3, 4. Sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5th number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th number. We just taking alone the 5th number. We just avoiding the in between number. So we just skipping out. We just skipping out the uh, 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 before the 4 number. We just taking alone the 5th number. So this is a skip count by 5. So why we are studying a skip count by 5? What is the reason to uh, uh, read the skip count by 2 and skip count by 5? Yes, to know about the tables. Okay, the skip count by 2 which tells as the second table and skip count by 5 tells about the fifth table. Okay, so when we are studying about the fifth tables, we are not going into the tables properly. So, how the tables actually works? This is how the tables actually works. Okay. So, in my first class itself, I told you, if you want to be very uh, thorough and you want to do a very fast multiplication, means uh, you 100 percentage, you want to know about the tables, at least you want to memorize from 2 to 12 tables, I told you. So, Without uh, knowing the basic concept of tab uh, tables, about the tables, you just memorizing means there is a no use on that. Okay. So, how the tables work, how the second tables work, we just uh, skipping the two numbers. How the five tables work, we just skipping the numbers from 5 by 5, 5, 5. 
okay how the third tables work we just keeping the third numbers we just keeping from 3 to 3 3 3 3 numbers okay so this is how the tables work out okay so i want to special mention about the five tables what is the reason to mention the about the five tables means the five tables which hugely support the clock system isn't it that everybody we we know isn't it so when you are a small children like a second standard third standard you will now start to read about the how the clocks works yes of course i know and from the first standard itself you have read about the how the clock works okay so how we want to calculate the uh, clock system so one we have to take it as a 5 two we want to take it as a 10 for a 3 we have to take it as a 15 4 we have to take it as a 20 and 5 we have to take it as a 25 and 6 we want to take it as a 30 7 35 8 40 9 and 45 10 50 11 55 and 12 16 so the clock system the majorly the five tables uh, support the clock system this is how the clock system we have we are steady studied if you are studied okay if you do, if you doesn't know the clock the five tables which i have supports the clock system you now get to know about the supporting system okay so the five tables are majorly uh, uh, it's uh, full of we are depending upon the five tables in our day-to-day -day life isn't it because without uh, knowing the time or without uh, uh, thinking about the time we don't do anything isn't it so for example if for it uh, nowadays the online classes are there okay so according to the time the on the classes will be keep on changing so we want to be very conscious on a time isn't it children so so day to day life so see how the max is helping us to survive in our day to day life okay so without max what i said in my introduction class itself without max we cannot survive in the world so everything in the earth which always depends upon the max we cannot we uh, no we can avoid uh, 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 science like chemistry physics we can avoid we can avoid if you don't know uh, if you can if uh, english you can also avoid any subject but you cannot avoid the mathematics if you try to avoid itself you cannot avoid because that everything which is full of a mathematics because very uh, small things also depends upon the mathematics see how the five tables help uh, help to maintain the clock system okay 